In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper two of the 2024 Leaving Cert Ordinary Level exam. If you are looking for a different question from this paper, you should find a link to a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Use the pause button, rewind, fast forward, watch it in high speed or slow speed, whatever helps you out. Um, if you do find this video or any of my videos useful, I would appreciate like, subscribe, all that stuff. What really helps out the channel the most is though, sharing it with someone that might find it useful. In question three, we're gonna be doing some coordinate geometry. It starts off by telling us that y is equal to a half x uh, minus one. This is the equation of a line. And uh, the first question asks us to show that the point 4, 1 is on this line. Uh, this is very common, so you should learn how to do this. Uh, let me just remind you what an equation of a line is telling us. It's telling us whatever number we put in for x, they'll tell us the y part of it. Or to put it another way, if I put 4 in, it'll tell me what y is. So if I put 4 in and y is equal to 1, then this is on the line. Um, well, let me just do that. So y is equal to a half, sorry, a half times 4. I've put 4 in for x minus 1. Uh, y is equal to 2 minus 1. y is equal to 1. That, that, that would be enough for the examiner. Uh, another way students would usually show this is, uh, this is telling you when x is 4, y is 1. So let's put both of those numbers in. Uh, we could put in, let's do it down here, 1 is equal to a half times 4 minus 1. So I'm putting x and 1 in, x and y. Uh, 1 is equal to 2 minus 1, 1 is equal to 1. And that, that's correct. That's, both of these shows that 4, 1 is on the line. In part 2, they give us a x, y axis here and just ask us to, to put this equation. Um, what was this called again? It was L, I believe. Uh, this line L here on this. So how do we draw this line on this? Uh, now, helpfully enough, they did tell us, we did prove in part one, that four one is on the line. So we could just go ahead and go to four. Oh, <laughs> that should be a one, and that should be a two. So we know this point's on the line. So that's, uh, we're halfway there. Um, we just need any other point on the line. And remember what I said this tells you. You put anything in for x, it'll tell you what y is. So you can just put any number you want in. Um, I would advise you the easiest number to put in is usually zero. A uh, half times zero is zero. Or, or the other way to think of it is just cover up. So we just get y is equal to minus one. So when x is zero and x is zero here, y is minus one. So that's the point on the line. Uh, we can just draw this in like that. That's uh, full marks for this question. Uh, there is other ways to do it. We could put in any other number. Instead of zero, you could put one in. That'd be a half minus one is minus a half. So a one, we would have got minus a half. You could draw it. You could put two in. At two, you would have got zero. You could put three in. At three, you would have got a half. So you could have got any number of points. Uh, there's another way then, uh, let me just draw this once more. At the point, you obviously you would nearly always start with 4, 1, because they gave it to you. But either way, when you got any point, you could also start at um, 0, minus 1. Uh, you could have also used the fact that a half is here. A half is the slope. And a slope means, a slope of a half means it goes up a half every time you go across one. So if you go a, let me do it here. If you go across one, you go up a half. So you could have got the point there, two points, draw a line. There's multiple ways to have got that. For part B, we need to understand what the slope of a line looks like. So I touched on this in part A. Uh, they gave us this picture of four lines. A goes like this, uh, B goes straight across, C goes up like that, and D goes up through there. And they give us a table of different slopes. These are all, um, yeah, these are all slopes here. So one of these lines has slope three. One has a slope minus one, 
a half and zero. Which is which? That's, that's all they're asking you. Uh, which is which? Uh, the most common one I would expect you to get first is, is one we deal with a lot, is slope zero. Slope zero is flat. And that makes sense in your head. Uh, something has no slope, has zero slope. B. B is the, the flat one here. So there's B. And uh, next one that stands out to me, at least, is there's only one of these that's minus. And a minus, I hope uh, a student understands uh, the difference between a minus and a plus. A plus goes up, because we read, we read left to right. Um, going left to right goes up, goes up. A goes down. A is the only one that goes down. A must be minus one. So that leaves two of them. It leaves one that goes up a half and one that goes up three. So it's either C or D. Both C or D go up. Um, what hopefully is easy to understand is three is bigger than a half. Three goes up more than a half. So which goes up more? D. D goes up more and that leaves C being a half. So that's how you can fill in each of these ones. For part uh, C, uh, they ask you to find the equation of a line that goes through these two points, 0, 6 and 2, 9. Now, I don't think any student should have an excuse that you've never seen something like this before. Uh, your teacher probably just gave you five of these questions for homework when you studied it. And they're, in your book, there's probably 20, 30 questions just like this in your book, like parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Um, you, could, you should be able to find a question like this, no, no problem to practice, because it comes up nearly every exam. Um, so what's the equation to get, how do you get the equation between two points? Well, to get the equation of a line, uh, I'll write the formula out here, y minus y1 is equal to m times uh, x minus x1. So you need two things to get the equation of a line. You need a slope and you need a point x1 and y1. So that's a problem, we need the slope then. So let's uh, forget the equation of a line for a moment and let's find the slope. What's the equation of a slope? That's m is equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what do you need to get this? You need two points, x1, y1, x2, y2. And that's what we have. So let's just fill in here. This could be x1, y1, and this could be x2, y2. Just, just, be, just note that it, you could have called this x1 and y1 and this x2 and y2. This could have been point 0.1. Well, this is point 0.1 and point 0.2 for me. But you could have said this is point 0.1 and point 0.2. It wouldn't have made a difference. It changed some of your numbers, but the final answer should be the same. Okay, so let's work out the slope. y2 is 9. So let's m is equal to this. Uh, minus y1 is 6 divided by x2 is 2, minus x1 is 0. We clean this up, the top row becomes a 3, bottom 2 minus 0 is just 2, so m is equal 3 over 2. Let's go back to this uh, equation of a line here. Remember, we want y in our final answer and we want x in our final answer. So this would tell us that y minus y1, again, you could use this as y1, or this one over here. At this point, you could change if you wanted. I'll stick to what I have here. Y minus six is equal to M. Well, I know what M is now. Three over two multiplied by X. Again, leave X alone. We want X in the final answer. Minus X one, which is zero. Uh, you should get full marks for this. It's a bit messy, but uh, I think maybe they want you to, they, they probably want you to clean it up a bit, but I think they, they should give you full marks for that. But well, we can clean it up. Uh, x minus zero means nothing. So that's y minus six is equal three over two x. Three over two multiplied by zero is, is nothing. That's, that just disappears. This, they definitely give you full marks for this. Although usually we like to write the answer with y on its own. Uh, that's three over two x plus six. This should be full marks as well. Um, and then also sometimes we like to write the answer uh, with x plus y, them all on the same side. To do that, we did multiply everyone by two. Again, you've already got full marks, by the way, so you don't have to do this last bit. Multiply everyone by two, we get two y 
Multiply this by 2, we just get 3x. Multiply this by 2, we get 12. Again, you get full marks, but we could write this. I'll do it up here just because I'm running out of room. I'll move everyone over to write uh, 3x minus 2y um, plus 12 equals 0. Or one last way, so usually people would write it like this, um, equals minus 12. Again, this, you could write, this is the answer, this is the answer, sorry, correct, correct. And uh, this one here would be fairly common as well. Right. All of those <laughs> should be full marks. Um, if you have any follow-up questions for me, please put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.